Hello, hello everyone. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Alright. I've been absent for a little while. Sorry guys. I always always apologize after my comebacks. Well, but I'm here now. I uh, you know it's been a little crazy days, crazy months, but we're back in the new year with new cars and a lot of a lot of things to show you. Let's see what we're going right now. We have for you a 143 Citroën Sarah Picasso. Picasso, like the painter. Now, this is specific model. It's a 1999. Uh, this car is gorgeous. I remember when it actually came out. First, it came out as, um, how you call them, the pre-production ones? They call them... Um, Concept. It came as a concept. I remember it even had like a big sunroof in the back. I mean the top. It was just a weird car back in 1999. I think it was actually very modern to start with when it came out. Great looking car. Uh, Citroen kept, kept this model for about 10 years. They kept, they must have refreshed a little bit the, the face, you know. But um, it was from 1999 until in actually in different countries they had until different times example france which citroen is from they made them until 2010 but in other parts of europe they extended a little bit in spain they had it until 2012 uh in the united kingdom they had it also until 2010 and in hungary actually they finished before then the hungary had them until 2009 just a little updates in different countries. But it sold pretty well because when a car stays out for 10 years, it means they're, they're making money. Otherwise, a brand usually, when they see the model, it's not going nowhere. After the third or fourth year, they're out. They close the, they shut off the, um, the how you call it, the... Um, the, the model, they'll, they'll tell this last year we're making it. <laughs> but this one was pretty um pretty good looking. And it was pretty popular too, I remember. seeing I saw them in South America a couple of times. And they sure were popular. They, they had a lot of them. So, and because it, it's a cute car. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a minivan mixed with a big hatchback. But uh, it's spacious. And... It's like an egg shape, you know, it's like a big egg shape. So it's like little, you know, it's not a minivan, it's not a hatchback. You don't really know where it really fits. And that's the cool part. That's the cool part about it. It's not a model that, uh, it's another sedan, here we go again. Another, you know, two door, they all look alike. <laughs> this one is like, it's a hatchback, it's a minivan, no, what is it really, you know, it's, it kind of falls like into the, you know, the Kia Soul, or the Nissan Cube, if you're familiar with those cars, they're the cars that you don't know where they really fall into, like a crossover, you know, type, but, this one was beautiful, and this one came out way before those ones that I mentioned, so this one kind of opened the doors, <laughs> now, it's a Citroën, so it's a French car. It looks exactly, this model looks really alike, like in real life, you know. If you look at it, look at those wheels, exactly the same hubcaps, the antenna on the top. It got, you know, the interior, if you can see through it, it has the, how you call this, the dashboard, they had it right in, in the center. The, you know, speedometer and the revs and the gas, you know, consumption, it was in the center of the console. Some cars, you know, came out like that. It's a few cars made it like that too, I remember. It's an American brand called Saturn. It was an American brand. It's no longer being made. They made their cars also in the center console. I remember also Toyota, I think the Yaris had a center console. Oh, also, um, the Echo, Toyota Echo. Now I remember that one. 
the Toyota Echo had the center console. So a few cars came out with the center console. I'm not sure how reliable were they or how comfortable were they to look at. Because when you're so used to looking this in the right in front of you and then you have to like turn your eye to to your right just to make sure you're looking at the speedometer or something and maybe a little bit distracting. Don't know. I have not really tried driving one of them. But it's okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to let it, let it um, go around a few times so you can have a nice look at the car. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so what do you guys think about these cars? Um, especially my folks from North America that are not very familiar with this model because they know these cars were never sold in America, which is a shame. I have mentioned in other videos. I hope Citroën, Renault, Peugeot, and other European brands get to be sold in America too because they are great looking cars. They're quite reliable. They don't have the same uh, record as before. Now they all these car brands are as safe and reliable as any other brand sold in America. So, but unfortunately we don't get to have them here. But um, what do you guys think about them? What do you guys think about the model? How you um. Do you find them attractive? You know, remember, the car is already, you know, it's already a 30, no, what is it, like a 25-year-old model, at least. So it's not like it's going to be looking like a 2023 model, but at least, you know, back in 1999, it must have been very um, strange to come out with this. But, um, no, so, talking about, I always mention in my videos, what models you guys collect? Comment in the videos. What models? What scale you guys collect? Is it 143? Is it 132s? Or you're in the smaller scale, like the 164, 187? You know, let me know what models you guys have and what you're interested in seeing and what you guys like. Thank you for my followers. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your patience for me not posting enough as I always try to do but then I have things here and there and I <laughs> stop for a moment but I'll see you in my next video take care of yourselves happy happy new year and goodbye